कैंसर इज अ डेथ सेंटेंस द डिजीज कम्स विद अ लॉट ऑफ एंगजाइटी कैंसर इज कंटीजियस एंड ओबेसिटी द लार्जेस्ट लाइफ स्टाइल कॉजेज ऑफ कैंसर ट्वेंटी सेकेंड सेप्टेम्बर वर्ल्ड रोज डे दिस डे इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द डे फॉर द वेलफेयर ऑफ कैंसर पेशेंट्स द डिजीज कम्स विद अ लॉट ऑफ एंगजाइटी विथ अ लॉट ऑफ मिथ्स Don't talk on the mobile phone it will cause cancer. Cancer is a death sentence. Cancer is contagious. But is there any reality embedded in these myths or these are completely baseless untrue? Answering all our questions we have veteran surgical oncologist from Kolkata Dr. Gautam Mukhopadhyay. Hello sir and welcome to the CSR journal. Thanks a lot, and I welcome all the viewers of this uh, uh, digital media. But you see, there are certain myths, as you rightly said, and I just outline some very common myths on this. That is, that cancer is contagious. This is absolutely wrong, and there is no uh, definite truth in this. And uh, people can sleep in the same bed; they can stay in the same house. and cancer is not contagious rather cancer is more of a genetic disease that if you have in your genes that in the family you can develop cancer later on so cancer runs in families that may be partly true but cancer being contagious is totally false also there is a huge myth that if you do biopsy cancer can spread this is absolutely wrong because biopsy is only a test it diagnoses not only cancer but also tuberculosis infections and various inflammations so cancer has been associated with uh, biopsy but that's not always true and biopsy can create no harm to the patient it only diagnoses cancer if you go to social media also that there's lot of propagation you know that uh, certain food uh, can prevent cancer certain food food can uh, cause cancer a lot of sugar if you take that can cause cancer or can avoid cancer this sort of thing these are not true actually but you see to some extent food is also related to cancer and i can give you some examples also of that if you want that is those people who take lot of smoky foods on a daily basis you know smoky foods like kebabs and on a daily basis or say raw meat they develop cancer of the esophagus or the food pipe and also cancer of the stomach also those who take lot of red meat regularly they can have colon cancer and this type of rectal cancer this type of cancers also people who take high fat diet high fat diet they can develop among females breast cancer the chances are higher of developing breast cancer ovarian cancer uterine cancer and those in males you can have lung cancer or prostate cancer so you see certain associations are there alcohol with pancreatic cancer alcohol with liver cancer tobacco with oral cancer tobacco with lung cancer so these associations are there but you see there are lot of myths which are going on that eating certain vegetables will prevent cancer and eating a certain type of sugars will may prevent cancer these are not true sir apart from food uh, are there any uh, you know lifestyle habits like if i follow this kind of a set, probably a sedentary lifestyle this might lead to cancer is there any such thing that physically active uh, people they are less prone to cancer if you have a sedentary lifestyle and have no physical activity what happens you can become obese and obesity is one of the largest lifestyle causes of cancer to use of tobacco in any form and not only tobacco and you see in the earlier bengal culture and even otherwise in india people used to take a lot of uh, pan you know and having this sort of betel nut aconat jod and all these things these are all precancers these are all precancers and they can lead to oral cancer 
So tobacco is a huge lifestyle factor for the cause of cancer. And I can tell you that around 45 to 50 percent of all cancers are somehow related with tobacco, alcohol. I'm not encouraging anybody to take alcohol, but you say alcohol is a cause of cancer, no doubt. It can cause, but it is much less than what tobacco can do. Uh, sir, uh, talking about the role of social media, uh, there are multiple platforms. These days, we are all the time on our mobiles. Uh, there are multiple, you know, forwarded messages, sometimes in the form of video reels. Uh, don't eat this. This will cause cancer. So, the unverified videos sometimes become more popular than evidence-based information. This is the potential danger of social media. So you should pick and choose about this information. So you cannot take all information of social media so far as health is concerned as the truth. Thank you so much, sir. That is very encouraging. That is very inspiring. And I'm sure your words will serve as a hope for many people who are watching this video. Thank you very much.